The toilet's flush valve assembly is most often the center of any leaking in the toilet's tank. It has moving parts that seal and drain, so as such is prone to be highly affected by corrosion or deterioration. The flush valve assembly consists of the overflow tube, seat, flapper valve, and the sponge gasket. Each of these parts will develop problems over time, causing an internal leak that is hard to trace. Whenever the flush valve is going to be replaced, the sponge gasket and tank mounting bolts should also be replaced at that time. To replace the flush valve, the entire tank will have to be removed from the bowl of the toilet, exposing the sponge gasket and the nut holding the valve in place. It may be difficult to identify which of these parts are malfunctioning because any defect may be too small to see. For this very reason, whenever the flush valve, sponge gasket, or tank mounting bolts are worn out, all of these items should be replaced at the same time. Before this project is started, a new flush valve kit will need to be purchased at a hardware or plumbing supply store. This kit should include the flush valve assembly, which is the overflow tube and seat, seals and lock nut, flapper valve with lift chain, and a sponge gasket. Additionally, a supplemental sponge gasket may need to be purchased depending on the curvature of the connection between the tank and the base. The last items that need to be purchased are new tank mounting bolts. Generally, a tank will require two or three mounting bolts, so purchase enough for your given toilet. The tools necessary for this project are an adjustable open-end wrench or socket wrench, a large sponge, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of rib joint pliers, a cement mixing tub, a small plastic container, and possibly a mini hacksaw.